On our last video, we got our entire master wing all framed out. So today's focus is all about the kids wing and getting all of the interior walls completely framed. On this side of the house, we have a total of four rooms. We have a front bedroom, we have a back bedroom, then we also have the bathroom and our utility room, washroom, mud room, mud room whatever <laughs> we're calling it. So that means we have a total of three walls to get built. The one wall between our mud room mm -hmm. and the kids bathroom will also have a door in it. Not too much, should be able to get it done. I think so. Let's do it. Jeremy's gonna go run and grab the house plans and it has decided to rain. So we have 14 days until our roof goes on, which means we have a lot of work to do. So we don't really have the option of not working when it's raining. We have got to keep grinding. So we're just gonna put our hoods on and hope it doesn't start pouring on us. What do you got there? I mean, brown hat. <laughs> do you really think that's necessary? They work. You guys look fabulous. Work better than umbrella. Yeah, you don't even have to hold them. Gotta look cool. <laughs> like a roller derby girl. In my head I may not know what I feel down in Wait, my soul. With my eyes I may not see. Father burns inside of me. Stand you know what the best part is, Kaimani? Chicks dig a man in an umbrella hat. So you got that going for you. Just grab on. Don't ever let it go. When you're back against the Now that we got all of our two by fours, we're ready to start building walls. We hear our neighbor coming over with the excavator. We're going to be digging some big six foot what? diameter holes about 12 feet out for our 12 foot overhang that's going to be going off the front of the house. So we need to get those posts set before the roof actually goes on. And we're going to dig the holes today. All right. Okay, well, we're making a circle for our post in the most rudimentary. A very rough one. <laughs> in the most rudimentary way. But it'll work. Jeremy's our protractor. Stop eating all the snacks. Well, that looks terrible. <laughs> that scene in Jurassic Park, you know where he walks up on the big pile? Now we have two of them. It's dino, di, di, dino droppings. That is one big pile of... <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get these posts in hopefully this week and then we can get rid of the dino droppings in front of our house. Back to work, let's get some walls all in. Right. What are you smirking about? Oh, Mama, I was just thinking about last night. That was amazing. That was good, wasn't it? It's just, it's so much better when I don't have to go out looking for it. I mean, it's just nice to try new things every once in a while. I've never tried anything like that before. But now I have, thanks to Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars matches us to wines from all over the world, curated to our palates, which are super sophisticated. It's actually a lie. We know nothing about wine, except for that we like it. There are literally hundreds of private label wines and more being added every month. So you never have to worry about your wine life going stale ever again. And things were stale. Let me tell you.
All you need to do is take the simple and quick seven question quiz so Bright Settlers can gather your taste preferences and deliver you wines you're guaranteed to like. Your wines will be sent directly to you, so no more wasting time and money on trying wines you don't like or trying to pick something adventurous based off of a label. Every box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outlines tasting notes, suggested pairings, and origin. You can really impress with your new extensive wine knowledge. How about this wine from the Nihilus Wine Company? It says it pairs well with bacon cheeseburgers and TV binge watching on the couch. It's like they know me. Yeah. Bright Settlers is confident you'll love your wines. But just in case, the delight guarantee means if you don't love a bottle in your shipment, they'll send you a replacement in your next box. Bright Sellers is giving our followers an exclusive 60% off their first four bottle box, plus a bonus bottle. That's five bottles in total. Crazy value. To find wine you'll love, follow our link below to support our channel and take the quiz to get started today. This wall should be pretty quick. I am sitting inside the boys' bedroom. This wall we are putting up is going to be the room that divides the boys' room from their shared bathroom. There are no doors in this wall, so it should be no problem. Woo, that's my favorite kind of wall. So the boys room wall is up and then we will eventually be framing out a closet right here for them. So now we are going to switch our focus to the girls' wall and then we will put in the dividing wall that divides the bathroom from our mudroom. Can't have five smidges, <laughs> Melissa. Otherwise, it should have been a nudge to begin with. Another smidge. All right, that's good. You sure. Well, I mean, it could go another smidge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, it's like five minutes later, and we're back in sweatshirts. We literally do not know how to dress here in Idaho. The weather's bipolar. It was raining, then it was like 80 degrees, and now it's all clouding up, and it's cold again. Over under 20 minutes or so, and I'm gonna have this thing off again. <laughs> Probably, or it's gonna be completely downpouring. Oh. Focus! Enjoy you. Focus! I'll be there for you. To drop a two by six on your foot. <laughs> They turned the summer back on. Who has the already taking it off? Yeah, it's instant hot. I'm keeping mine on. Oh, I feel warm and crazy. Told you. Told you. You're right. Things are really heating up around here. Yeah, they are. Ow! Well, Jeremy, if only I hadn't thrown away your teeth, you would have come so much food. No comment. Oh my 
so hot. <laughs> it was just cold. Just in time. <laughs> what the heck? It was just 80 degrees again. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just a small spring passing shower. It's okay, Kenji. Okay. You scared of the thunder? Well, we have no problem working in the rain, but this takes it to another level. We've got serious thunderstorms going on outside, so I guess this is the end of our work day. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> The kids are enjoying a uh, healthy breakfast of popsicles. Mm. First popsicles of the year. So obviously the weather is very different today. We're excited to get back to work. We were hoping to get all three of those walls up yesterday, but unfortunately we did have that thunderstorm. But today it's sunny, it's beautiful, it's dry. Getting to work. Daddy, you gonna stop playing with your cat so we can get to work? Yesterday when the storm came, we were actually in the middle of getting that second wall all squared and plumb. So we're going to continue that this morning and then we will move on and get our third and final wall done and then both wings will be completely framed. I got a fire in me, you're gonna say With that wall complete, we are now going to take this space, which is right now one room, and turn it into two. This is going to be the kids' bathroom. This is going to be our mudroom and an exterior entrance. So we're gonna divide that in half. Stop eating all the snacks. I haven't introduced snack belt yet. Oh, hurry up. I'm They're almost completely gone. Not because our... of me, the kids have been eating them too. Jeremy ate all of our gummy bears. So my snack belt choice of the day is Bucky's gummy bears. We've never had Bucky's gummy bears. We got another Bucky's box. It's amazing. I want to go to Texas just to go to Bucky's. Yeah, all the Bucky's snacks have been awesome. They're so good. They've been amazing. Yeah. The jerky, everything. So these are maybe the best gummy bears I've ever had. Seriously. Absolutely, hands down, the best gummy bears. They're twice the size of a regular gummy bear. Well, it doesn't help that the, um, they got super melted but they're really soft, they're crazy flavorful. Very flavorful, I don't know what they use, but. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for sending us snacks. It is such a highlight in our day to go to the post office and find snacks in there. We appreciate you guys. Time to get this well done. I got a fire in me. You're gonna set to burn. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. What? She's got legs. She, got? she knows how to use them. For walking. So it just occurred to us that we completely forgot to chalk the line that actually divides the room. So we're building the wall 
but we don't exactly know where it goes yet. So we're gonna have to raise it up, move it out of the way, chalk our line, and then move the wall into place. Oops. We got a little ahead of ourselves. Jeremy, you know, your, uh, your shorts with your work boots, I mean, that was dad-tastic and all, but the shorts with the little short rubber boots, I mean, you're taking it to a whole nother level of sexy. It's like fashion police. No, I'm okay. saying that I'm digging it. I'm comfortable. I'm getting work done. Okay, I'm hot. I'm sweaty. So I'm as comfortable as can be. If I need to go inside for whatever reason, I can just pop these right off. I don't have yeah. to undo the laces. Uh huh. Speed and efficiency. Absolutely. This outfit screams confidence. What you're looking at right now. This, Speed and efficiency. This outfit right here says, I don't care. I'm a confident man. I don't care. I know. <laughs> so now you're using your umbrella for shade. What a difference a day makes, huh? What are you guys doing? I'm protecting from the nails. Oh jeez. You think an umbrella is gonna keep you safe? Yeah. Um what happened here? Oh no. You guys ate them. I didn't eat them. Daddy, did you eat all the no. The bag is empty. Now we're gonna get our wall up and out of the way so we can chalk our line, which we should have done before. Whatever, same thing. Ready? Right. You want oh. me to do the walker? Yeah, please. Really, I was kind of. Bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, it's not my bathroom. It's kind of nice having the store here, huh? Yeah, it is. This is going to be great. So, this is going to be an exterior entrance, obviously, into mud room. Mud room, utility room, and then if you're outside and you need to use the bathroom, you can just go through this door. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's awesome. Perfect. Let's plumb this off and get it secured. The day we arrived here, Jeremy asked me if I was happy to be home. And I told him that it would be a while before it felt like home. But I was wrong. What I didn't realize on that very emotional and exhausting day is whether we were living in the trailer or in our barn or in our dream house. It's home. And it was the moment that we got here. Home is where my people are. My family is my tribe, my own little band of weirdos in this crazy world. They are my strength, my drive, my reason, but most importantly, they are my soft place to land. And really, isn't that the very definition of what home is? So although our family tree will one day branch in different directions, we will always share the same roots. And how blessed are we to plant those roots right here.